Okay, so this is the Lansing School District website. As you can see, lansingschools.net. If you go to this web page and scroll down on the left hand side there, it says district news right here. You're gonna go to the <clears throat> March 23rd where it says Lansing School District launches online learning resource site. Click on that <clears throat> on the article. Then this page comes up it has some information for you to read and within the page there's a blue link that says www.lansingschools.net backslash learn click on that that is going to take you to the learning at home page that dr chapman posted underneath there is a schedule suggested schedule certainly not anything that you have to follow but just some ideas for how to plan your day if you're struggling with what to do. Under each of these, you can click on them and it's gonna give you some more ideas. If you go to academic time right here between 10 and 11 or 2.30 and 4 and you click on that, you are going to get a page that looks like this. If you click on the K through three, all of the resources that the district is suggesting or offering or saying here these might work for you uh, are listed right here. I am currently printing this workbook right here. I will make copies for everyone and send them out. Um, it also has all the websites I believe or a lot of the websites that I've uh, either posted about or talked to you about. So there's lots of different stuff here. Tumble Books Library, excuse me, Tumble Book Library is a great place to go uh, find books. I know some of you are concerned that you don't have books at home to read, okay? Um, also, uh, any of the pages on here, if you need login information, students should have their stuff. Like if you go to the Go Math online, students, um, it tells you right here, their first initial, last initial, their student number, and then the password is LAN123. Um, and then uh, if you go back to the home page, okay, so if we go back to lansingschools.net and across the top um, on the drop down menu, if you go to schools, oh, I gotta get my cursor up here. Come on. You go to schools and come down. You are going to find Cumberland. Click on Cumberland. What's going to come up then is our homepage, okay? The places I've suggested you go are the useful links here in the left-hand column or the computer lab. If you click on useful links, this is a page that comes up all of these are linked directly to these websites and the kids have logins for study island uh, i sent you the logins for spelling city they have logins for i read uh, they have logins for raz kids everybody has logins for the sites that they need logins the other thing the other place you can go is computer lab go under second grade <clears throat> excuse me and it just has some basic information. Lyrics to Learn is not there anymore. This was a site that I was doing a testing on to see if the kids liked it, and it turned out they did. Um, and uh, I just didn't uh, pay for the site, so it's no longer available. If I choose to start that back up again, I'll let you guys know. And this is just also got some basic, basic stuff here. And if you have kids who are in kindergarten or first grade or third grade, this is also accessible to, to them. If you go to useful websites, it has a few things under it. The kids love ABC Ya. Um, we use that pretty much uh, every Thursday. Harcourt Math has got some great uh, practice math skills for students. They can do addition. It gives them some timed addition uh, practice. And um, the other one was, let's see, what else came up underneath there? Oh, the typing websites. 
So here's some different typing sites. I would strongly suggest while you are home, if you have access to a keyboard, a standard conventional keyboard like this, okay, that you get your students on there and practicing. I know not everybody has that and that's okay, but if you do, it'd be a great idea for them to start practicing.